before we leave, he's thrown me under the bus so many times that I had to throw him under the bus with this story. I was just, it just clicked in my head. To this day, Dion Phaneuf got so mad at this story, he doesn't know who did it, and I'm throwing him under the bus. Listen to this <laughs> oh, story. Wow. We were at New Year's, and Dion gave it to me. Dion, at the time, I hated this guy, but he was so good to me at the same time. He did a lot of stuff for me, but man, was, was he weird. hard on me. It yeah, was weird. He was hard. this guy was hard on me, but that's how he that's how he came up in the NHL, blah, blah, blah. He took care of me with a lot of stuff. But one thing he would always do is, like, whenever there's a party or something around, he'd always try to – that get me rattled. So I think he was like, I think he like <laughs> clapped a glass or something and told me to give a speech about my girl or something. My wife, my uh, Elise was there at the time and something about, I don't know, something crazy. Like he, I proposed to my wife or something. And so I was so awkward. I said some terrible speech. Probably I was embarrassed and Bobby and, and Boro like knew it. And they, they're like, watch this. And I'm like, what? Like, what do you mean? Watch this. He's like, we got your back. So Bobby took a giant piece of chocolate cake right in his new Tom Ford jacket, shoved it right into Dion's jacket, and then Boro and somebody else took like took uh, <laughs> took butter and salt and poured it in. Dion was so pissed. To this day, he, like a week later, he's like, Zinger, if you don't tell me, I'm putting everybody's car on block. He's like, tell me right now who did that. <laughs> I'm like, man, I got no clue. Like, I got no clue. And like, I literally, it was Bobby. If Dion ever watches this, this guy. It was Bob, <laughs> full ch- full chocolate cake, moose and all. This guy, Bob, right in a, and right, in a right in a three thousand dollar jacket. And <laughs> oh. didn't I tell you? Well, I, I'll never forget this because um, it was New Year's Eve, and I actually said he's never gonna he's never gonna say anything to me if it was me. He called every player on the team trying to figure out who it was, <laughs> and the one person he didn't call was me because he knew it and he knew that I would. I would go back at him in every sense of the word. He let that one go because he knew. But yes, there was a full piece of chocolate. There was butter. There was salt. (laughs) There was everything.